Genes are what make us who we are. Every person in the world is a combination of the genes they inherit from their father and their mother. The DNA in these genes determines all of our traits, such as skin color, hair color, and height, and it also provides the instructions to create the proteins that make our bodies work. Each person also has mutations in their genes, unexpected changes that take place when the genes from their parents are combined. In most cases, these changes are harmless, but sometimes they can change everything. The HNRNPH2 gene is one of 25,000 genes in our body. It's involved in a process called RNA splicing, which takes the instructions from our DNA to create proteins. A single RNA message can be spliced or edited in several different ways to create different instructions that create different proteins. This process allows our bodies to create all of the different proteins that we need to help our bodies grow, work properly, and stay healthy. When the HNRNPH2 gene is mutated, this RNA splicing process is disrupted and not all of the correct proteins are produced. A child with an HNRNPH2 mutation generally develops normally until they are born. By the time they're six months old, development has become delayed and these delays become more significant over time. Children with the condition are delayed in every part of their development, including motor function, communication, and cognitive ability. Without treatment, most of these children will require full-time care for their entire lives. However, there is hope. Research has shown that the HNRNPH1 and HNRNPH2 genes are nearly identical and they're both involved in the RNA splicing process. The main difference between them is that HNRNPH1 features very heavily in early fetal development and then decreases, while the function of HNRNPH2 remains steady throughout a person's life. This has led researchers to conclude that these genes are effectively redundant, meaning they perform the same basic function. They're working on a treatment option that would involve deactivating the mutated HNRNPH2 gene in the belief that the HNRNPH1 gene will take over its essential functions and restore effective RNA splicing. Any potential treatments will be tested in the lab to confirm that they're effective and safe before moving on to a clinical trial with human patients. We truly believe that this treatment could be life-changing for those affected with HNRNPH2 mutations and their families.